Welcome to my palace. Everyone, welcome. Here we are at the Big G Palace. I'm not going to tell you the location because we don't have permission to film here. But anyway, that's not important right now. What I've got here is my latest drops in my bag, in my SAG bag. The best cycling bag one has ever seen. We'll do another video on that. But here we go, let's get into this. Look at this bag, I mean. Look at that. SAG life. Right, what have we got in Santa's sack today? Let's have a little look-see, shall we? What's that? Little bit of CP company. Have a little look at that later. What's this? There it is. The Triferg. What's this bad boy? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. There she blows. You know it's that time of year. You've got to get your big winter jackets on. Let's have a little look, shall we? There she is. Some of you might have been lucky enough to pick up the white one, the blue one. It's got the green one. Pack Gore-Tex. And in the middle, you've got your down jacket. Before I slip that on, I've got a little something to show you guys. We'll do a little review on this Adidas jacket another day. Because it's pretty special, this little jacket. The thing I like about it is it turns straight into a bag. How cool is that? Right, so yeah, just quickly. And then you pick up this one, the little lager. I know you like it, in the bright orange. And what are you saying about these bad boys? Some old rave dance moves for you. So here we go. It's got a beautiful Gore-Tex Infinium, not pack light. What am I saying? We'll get into, I oh know it says pack light shell here. And on the inside it says Gore-Tex Infinium. This Adidas, Gore-Tex Infinium as well. All right, here we go. Look at this. We're gonna get into the details of it, but just so you can get the fit on it. we we'll step back for you. Action. What are you saying? Big boy jacket for big boys. Here we go. Let's zip this bad boy up. Feel the warmth. Feeling it. Look at that though. Pockets. It's all we need as men. We just need some fucking pockets. And look, nothing. We have to go up here. We'll, go, we'll review my David TC Stone Island. It's got the same zip pockets here. All very nice and well. I guess it's cash, but come on, man. Always looking for these ones. That's where I put in my CDs when I was doing my shoplifting. I need all of that stuff in there. So, wow, it's warm. I can tell you it's warm. It's definitely warm. And I know you guys have seen the pictures on the website, so you know that this little bad boy pops open on its own. Which, here we go, let's have a little look, see. See what's going on there, shall we? On the inside. Oh. Okay, it's got little buckles there to keep your down sleeves latched on. Same here, all across the hood. Get down that sleeve again. Pop those off. It's popping off, it's fucking popping off. Got another one on the collar. We have a, a finally release note. Three more down here just going on oh my god you won't have to do this in a hurry will you Jesus Christ all right that's it there's only 20 popping buttons there until you get into the down this down has got a beautiful you probably can't see it we'll show you a bit in a minute saying palace gore stop wind stopper pretty sweet 
Right. It's got these nice sleeves. Probably can't see them, but just like grip onto your wrist. Stop that wind getting up your sleeveys, making your elbows cold. And here we go. I know what you're all looking forward to seeing. What does the Palace Triferg look like on the back? Let's have a little look see, shall we? Oh man, look at that. The way that flaps. It doesn't flap. That, that's gonna, that would bother me. Just look, it wants to flap open like that all the time. It doesn't have any fastening. Come on, Palace. And what's this? These are pretty nice. Ooh. Oh, they've got a nice, like, warm lining in there. Keep your hands nice and toasted. That's a nice touch. Then these little flap things. Annoying as hell, those are. Right, here we go. You see it? Yeah. That's where the money is. Right, we'll get into the details of the other bit in a sec. Okay, action. So here we are, just the shell now. You need about six jumpers underneath this to keep it going. Bloody hell. I guess it's supposed to have a down. You could probably fit your North Face 500 under there, not see. So pretty nice, but obviously massively oversized. Great if you've got if you're a snowboarder, I guess, because it also has a nice little bit to put your snow pass in, your ski pass in, your lift pass, whatever. And then inside the jacket, you've got your standard stuff here, you've got your zip here. Nice Palace Gore-Tex tape seams. It's a pretty nice detail, isn't it? Makes it look pretty flashy, but you've got all of these fastening buckles all hanging around everywhere. One thing. Obviously the top, it's got a nice peak on it. Adjust it from the rear if you need to. No, pa no palace triferg on the back though, is it? But you have got it right there, haven't you? So if you need to show your palace off, you've got it there. These pockets are quite nice, but not not hand warmers, just more Gore-Tex shell in there, and that's it really. So talked about the zip on there, Velcro straps, Gore-Tex pack-like branding. What are these buttons saying? nothing sun grip I mean who the fuck is sun grip so that's it really I think not much more to say about this it's a nice piece but it's not for me I mean it's too oversized the down isn't light enough in my opinion when it's got the whole jacket on it's just too too heavy too much I mean and it's a pretty penny in it I mean I think they got this one still on the store maybe in a medium or small all the other colours are gone. I mean, the white one was obviously the bomb, but I've got two kids, so having a white jacket, that's just a moment, isn't it, really? Um, yeah, like I say, the weight of this down jacket in comparison to um, my Stone Island downs, um, this one's much, much heavier. Even my North Face has got, it's probably the similar weight to this, and it's shorter mid-waist. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, if you're really into your palace gear, then you've got to get it for the winter, haven't you? But, and it's got, it's nice, two jackets and one, I guess that's a bargain to some degree, but I don't know. What's it filled up with here? It's sea insulation, so that's bio-based material, so I'm guessing that's probably good for the environment, so there's a win-win there. But I mean, let's face it, the lining and the shell is polyester, so, you know, is it just offsetting itself or is it still bad for the environment? That's it really, I'm just going to put my hands in these pockets and uh, give you a few GVs, a few DL shots coming up in the next few bits. Do it. Just do it, just do it, just record it, straight up. It's rolling. Oh, it's rolling? Yeah. Start again, you could. Yeah. All right, everybody. 
here we go again so this is part two so I've got the Gore-Tex on it's covering up my um, nether regions so that I can show you the new palace pants as well that I picked up here we go just rest myself on my live stock Adidas ZX collaboration we'll go into that and look don't know if you can pick this up I've got my palace socks on as well all right so let's have a little look at these trousers so what was going on in my mind when I wanted to get these trousers was it's raining outside things are getting wet and cold really not enjoying that so I saw that these palace waterproof they've got a nice little lining in there might keep me keep me warm all the rest of it little belt buckle which I can't even work out how to use there it goes it's just a little clip and a button and a zip let's get these bad boys on it's getting a bit nippy out here Ah, oh, you know what it's like though when you've got trousers with netting in them it always knots up oh man I'm gonna be look at that it's just like and um, it's caught me caught my foot in like a shopping bag in there Jesus Oh god, I think I heard a rip. What is going on? Who designs them like that, hey? Right, okay. Let's get this buckled up. Get the trainers on. We'll do a little review on those. Although you're not going to see these anymore in the shops. Maybe on eBay, maybe StockX. Who knows? Oh no. Right. So, oh, flies are undone. So, wow, let's get this off. So you can see the trousers for all they're worth. There we go, what about that then? So you've got a little buckle on here. And I mean, they're actually quite, feel really nice. I mean, they look horrendous. They are like, who has white stitching on black like that? I mean, but they have got little things in here so you can tighten it up. So maybe you can make them look half decent. Uh, certainly stop the wind and water getting up your, up your leg like that. I've got some nice, I mean, they're like my Stone Island cargoes, aren't they really? But just waterproof. What do they say about them? Oh, the scotch light, so they're reflective material. I'll have to get the flash out on these a bit later, see what happens. Nice, like, hidden cargo there. Pretty deep pocket around the back here. Nice, they're giving you two pockets, that's good. Hate it when trousers only give you one rear pocket. That is really annoying. And then, if your gut's forever expanding like mine, you can adjust your belt buckle over there. So that's that, these are the pair of Palace, can't even remember what they're called now, one sec. Yeah. <laughs> the Palace Dominator Performance Cargoes. Dominated. Yeah, right on. Okay, on the details in this, you've got your nice Velcro double taps there. Zip. <laughs> These all look 3M. What's up everyone? So that's it, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Listen, if you want to know anything more, you just write a little comment, you send me a DM, I'll sort you out, okay? I'll give you another little detailed video. You know I love doing this sort of stuff. No, that's it. Subscribe button. Over here and over here will be some other videos that you can link out to at some point in time, so you can enjoy those as well. That's it then. <coughs> Peter Harris, he's done his work today. It's off. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm going off. going to go and watch the football. See you later. I'm a man who's 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 a